prayer meeting, and I just really felt it on me right now just to remind ourselves about the power of praise and about yes. why praise in prayer. You know, like, so yes. why do we do it? Why do we praise God, mm -hmm. and what does it mean? And so uh, just for the next few minutes, I'm glad you're joining us, and uh, maybe you're listening to the cash version of this. I believe that there's an anointing on it to praise God, and so you can go ahead and you can praise with us when we begin to activate this in a moment here. But um, if you want, you can follow along in your Bibles. You can Google this. Um, let's go to Psalm 100, Psalm 100, and uh, here's what it says, all right? So it says, this is, this is lots of fun, all right? So if you want to, like, um, you know, kick up your prayer life into the next next gear, next level, just kind of drop down into a different gear in prayer, this is a lot of fun. This is a great way to do it, all right? Just by way of reminder, here it is, Psalm 100. It says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. In other words, everybody's included, the entire earth. Isn't that awesome? And so it says, make a joyful shout unto the Lord. And so you can say, so is that when I feel joyful? Is that when... Joy is like resident on the inside of me. And, you know, is that when I've won the lottery? Is that the, the scripture to apply right there? And, and so, of course, we would say, no, this is the scripture to apply all day, every day, yeah. any day, no matter what the situation. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. he is on the throne and because yeah. God is who he said he is. And yeah. so to make a joyful shout before the Lord, you, oh, you can yeah. direct yeah. the emotion yeah. of your heart with the intent of your heart. Yeah. And if the intent of your heart is to be joyful before the Lord yes. and to make a joyful shout before the Lord, you know, I've done this before where I have um, just pushed off a burden of depression or discouragement just by sheer obedience. It's not feeling oh, like yeah. it, not wanting to, wondering yeah. why on earth none of my circumstances circumstances are lining up, but just purposing in my heart, hey, I'm going to make a joyful shout yes. before the Lord. And uh, I used to read the New Living Translation, and one of these um, one of these translations, the New Living Translation, um, where it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, which is kind of like an older English way of saying this. In the New Living Translation, it says, bless the Lord, I tell myself. <laughs> That's what it says. Yes. Bless the Lord, O my soul, yes. and all that is within me, bless the Lord. In other words, self get off your butt and praise the Lord, right? right? Like yeah. spiritually to step up to the plate. And so this yeah. is the power of praise right here. It directs the emotion of your heart with the intent of your heart. And it says here, serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh, thank God. Yes. Thank God that that's who we are, that he made us. He made us who we are. He put us in the places that we are. It's not of ourselves. He did it. Glory to God. And so therefore we can come before his presence with singing. Come before his presence with singing. Listen, very often, I don't know about you, but I try to come before the presence of the Lord with whining, you know, or with complaining <laughs> of, oh God, you've got to help me, you know. You know when that shifts and that begins to turn around? Because God listens and he comes close and he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. But you know when that prayer time begins to shift and begins to turn around? When I say something like, but God, I know that you're still on the throne. Amen. And God, yeah. today I humble whatever's going on in my own heart. God, I, the circumstances that I don't get, <laughs> as soon as I change the positioning of my heart to honor him and to worship him and to sing Sing before him, it says, come before his presence with singing. That's when the prayer kicks into high gear Hallelujah. right there. Okay, yes, number, yes. number verse four of this psalm right here, it shows us why we do this. And this is, there are, there are many ways to enter God's presence all through the blood of Jesus. But there's different ways into his presence, if you understand what I'm saying. This is a main way yes. into his presence. This is why in churches around the world, you'll often, the first song they sing will be a song of praise and a declaration for who he is and, and the awesomeness of God. Why is that? Because it says right here, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and so that that is a you know like whether whether we're there emotionally or we feel it or our circumstances are lining up or like we've got all these praise reports in our life whether or not any of that stuff is there here's the mandate from the scripture you want to get into the presence of god you want to get in through those gates and on the other side of the, those gates in prayer you want to get how do you do it with thanksgiving yes. and into his courts with praise. And you just begin to bless the Lord. Father, I thank you so much for who you are and for what you've done. That's always true, isn't it? God, thank you so much for sending Jesus, your son, to die in my place. God, I thank you so much. And you begin to do that. Yes. No matter what's pressing and weighing in on you, you can be in the darkest spot. You can be in the deepest valley. And if we will do this, then we enter right into the presence of God. Doesn't the scripture say in Psalm 23 that you can be surrounded by your enemies and God prepares a table before you. Isn't that right? Be thankful to him. 
Be thankful to him. There's always lots of reason for that. And bless his name. Did you know that you and I as humans on the earth, we have the, we have the awesome power to be able to bless the name of the Lord. Yes. To be able to bless him. To bless the name of the Lord. Yes. To honor him and to glorify him. And he just smiles. He loves it. He loves it when we do that. For the Lord is good. All the bad stuff that's going on, it's probably your mistakes and the mistakes of other people around you and a dumb devil that tries to get in the middle and tries to accentuate his purposes in the middle of it. The truth of the matter that none of that stuff comes from God. God is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Why praise? Because it gets you past wherever you are in the presence of God and it does it quickly. Is it praise just to sing the songs? No. Is it praise just to shout? No. Is it praise just to kind of say, God, I praise you, I praise you? No. When is it praise? When in your heart you are praising and expressing thanksgiving and praise and glory and blessing to the name of the Lord. That's when it's praise and that's when it changes the spiritual atmosphere and what's going on on the inside of you. I want to take you to Psalm 149 before we're done this little rant here and then we're going to um, go ahead and activate it. While we are live. How about that? Mm -hmm. Psalm 149, it says, Sing to the Lord a new song. And in the praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. The children of Zion, that's the church, be joyful in their king. Let him, let them praise his name with dance. And let them sing praises with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. And he will beautify the humble with salvation. You know who he takes pleasure in? It's not necessarily the, big, the huge church with the big production and the big display and the perfect notes and the perfect practice and the excellence and he takes pleasure in all of that and the display for sure but you know where he gets the most pleasure is when you and I in our living rooms in our bedrooms in our kitchens in our basements on the way to work just us ourselves maybe weighted down with the cares and the worries and the concerns that are around us and we just begin to praise him we just begin to say God no you are worthy yes. God I bless your name yes. God I yes. praise yes. your name yes. God I thank you for what Hallelujah. you have done no matter what we're feeling no matter what's going on he says this verse 5 Psalm 149 let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud on their beds let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations you know we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers and rulers and heavenly places isn't that right so our power and our authority comes out when we're praising God. This is another reason for why praise. Because it executes vengeance Amen. on the demonic realm Amen. in our lives and in our circumstances and punishments on the people. To bind their kings with chains. This isn't in flesh and blood. This is talking about spiritual strongmen. Yeah. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment of God, which is the word of God, which is what the judgment that's coming upon all evil everywhere yes. for all time. The that's judgment right. that's coming. That's right. yeah. And it's says here that this honor have all the saints yes. so praise the lord praise isn't that amazing amen. that when you yes. and i are just praising Hallelujah. god it's just kind of like you know what god i praise you god in the middle of this situation i praise you god i bless your name i give glory to your name god that when we're doing that a spiritual dynamic that's happening is that vengeance is coming amen. on on uh, it, it's, a, it's a spiritual it's a weapon yes. of spiritual warfare yes. Yes. now i want to say this because this is our church prayer meeting tonight and you can join us if you're watching or you watch this later or whatever. You can join in on this because there's an anointing on this tonight. This is fun. Yeah. We're not doing it just for our own benefit. Yeah. We get to praise God as a church group, as church prayers. Mm -hmm. We have the authority to praise God over our church and mm -hmm. see Satan scattered, That's see his right. enemies right. scattered yes. all yes. across our people. Why? Because we were smart enough to know everybody and know what everything they're facing and what all the demonic strong. No. Why? Because we simply praise God. Because we say, yes. God, I praise you. God, I yes. exalt you yes. over over our church and over this person's life and over this situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's awesome. Just by praising God. Listen, yes. if we increase our capacity with praise, yes. there is a spiritual authority that's handed to us yes. from God himself. Yes. And so that's what we do here. We, we're we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're um, working ourselves into a greater capacity and greater ability of praise. When is it praise? When I, you know, When is it love to your husband or to your wife? When you say, hey, I love you, and you're not even thinking about it. Not really, right? It's when you say, I love you from the heart. Mm -hmm. When you step out and you act on it, you do something and you mean it from your heart. Same with praise. When it breaks mm -hmm. out of the shell of our insecurity and it's expressed towards God, that's when it's praise. Mm -hmm. And that's when he loves it. And listen with that one line, God, I praise you. Mm -hmm. That one line right there. You mean it 
right in your heart, right in your spirit. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Praise you. When you do that and you mean it, even as the same words over and over and over, as you mean it, it increases your capacity and increases your dominion, your authority over the enemy because praise is a weapon uh, of, of prayer. And it's the way into the presence of God. Amen? Amen. And so before we finalize this broadcast, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and praise. And none of you guys have to get on the broadcast if you don't want to. You can stay kind of where you are. But um, follow me around with the camera. We're just going to go ahead and we're just going to praise God. Yeah. If you're joining us on um, online, let's just go ahead and praise yeah. him. Can we do that? Just go ahead. Just kind of throw your head back. And just go like, God, I praise you. God, the heck with all the stuff that's going on. God, I give you praise and honor and glory tonight. God, I praise you. I praise you, God. With every fiber of my being, God, I praise you. And God, I exalt you. And God, I lift you up. I tell you, it's got power on it when we do that. The enemy scatters. Let God be exalted. Let God be magnified. And let his enemies be scattered. I speak that over the internet in Jesus' name. Let the enemies of God be scattered in Jesus' name mighty name for we are full of praise we are full of praise in jesus name and the anointing of god and the authority of god and the presence of the lord jesus it begins to fill begins to fill begins to fill this very place and god we pray out over our church as we praise tonight for your presence to fill every place for your presence to fill every heart in jesus mighty name god we praise you we praise you god we love you so much, God. We're thanking you and honoring you and giving you glory in this place. Be exalted, God, and be lifted up over every life that's praying this right now in Jesus' name. God, be exalted and be lifted up. Let righteousness and peace and joy come. All those things of the kingdom, let righteousness, peace, and joy, let it flood forth in Jesus' name as we begin to open up the gates, the gates of the presence of God, as it becomes unzipped over our churches and over our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Let the power of praise, let it rule and it reign in our spirit in Jesus' name. God, be exalted. Be honored and glorified. Hallelujah. Jesus mighty name. Father, we thank you for it. God, thank you for the gift of praise. This honor have all the saints. And so we step into our place and we take that place of praise to honor you and to exalt you tonight. Believing you, God, for the miraculous. Believing you, Lord, for your presence to come. Father, and every person that's watching tonight, every person that's hearing, every person in our church, for your power to come, for your presence to be unzipped in our midst in Jesus' name. Come, let the heavens be rent in Jesus' name. Shaka la bala bala. 